So in this story we had two different prints, both designed by Sean Stussy. We used a really special technique. There's only one family in the whole world that still know how to make it. They mix up the glucose paste, take a bit of red and a bit of yellow and a bit of blue and mix those together in different quantities to create our own specific colours. One is the psychedelic surf, which is huge waves of rolling letters. And the second is kind of like a fair isle, like stripes of different flowers and lettering and wavy graphics. So all very beachy, but all very fluid. So here we can see the stripes where they put the lines of different colour together. But then if we look below, you can see where they've raked through those stripes to create all of these feathered marble lines. You can see the touch of the hand is really evident. You can really see where they've put the black outline in in one single stripe of colour paste. But then in other areas they're really mixed together different blocks of colour to create this almost psychedelic granite effect. So when you want to transfer the colour onto the fabric, you wet the fabric. So it's almost like a wet transfer. The colour flows really easily from the starchy paste onto the silk. I think the best way to really describe this technique is like those sweets you have as a child. But instead of using sugar, we're using a mixture of wax and starch. We're here in Miami, and when I thought of Miami, I thought of flowers, of course. I was talking to Kim about it and seeing what sort of flowers he wanted to have. Here we have Plumeria, which is a very specific tropical flower. Au départ, on a près de tissu et des doubles. Je mets les pétales à l'humide pour les ramollir. Tout ça, c'est pour un brin de muguet. Hop. Je choisis les boules pour gaufrer les muguets. Ça a bien chauffé, ça devrait aller. Après, ben, j'assemble les cinq pétales avec de la colle. Après, on gouffre. Je mets la feuille plate dans le gaufroir. Je frappe. Ça chauffe en dessous. Et ça vous donne les nervures de la feuille pour la finition. Comme dans la nature. Each petal, each flower has got wire in it so I can shape it to follow the line of the outfit. This could possibly go like this. Here we have a little touch of Lily of the Valley, which was Monsieur Dior's favorite, favorite flower because it was a symbol of good luck for him. We wanted it to be playful, fun, and sort of beachy too. 